finally going up to this lady in the front. No. It's so funny. You, you, you take care of a young buck, there's something right. really wrong with him. Right. They go, it's 65 degrees in here, and this guy's got a puddle on the floor and he's just wheelchair, you know? Yeah, yeah. And they finally took me in. You know, the first thing the lady says to me, she goes, we'll give me some love and ice, but we ain't giving you nothing for pain. I said, if I asked for anything for pain, I reached in my pocket and pulled out my prescription and saying, no, I've been keeping myself well medicated the whole time I was here. Mm. What do you think? I was going to wait on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, son of a You're bitch. Fine. What a bunch of assholes. So then they sent me... What did they, they wouldn't give you nothing for your pain? No. What did what were you currently on? Like where did you uh, they give? I was on 90 milligrams of morphine, and I was on two to five milligram uh, oxycodones every four hours. Oh okay, but, but when they weren't gonna give me any medication. They didn't even know what he. They had. wouldn't give you nothing, and no. they didn't even know what you were no. taking. No. no. She took and, one milligram. And like uh, a That's week wrong. before that, I was in Palmer Hospital trying to find out what was wrong too. And they were trying to put those uh, stimulators on me to check my uh, EKG. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they decided that they were going to cut my medication down to the one mil- one shot of one milligram Dilaudid every 12 oh, hours. Oh, are you joking me? So I'm in total withdrawals. They can't even keep the Yeah, that Dilaudid and shit. Even yeah, keep I had that. It. But yeah, but it was like one-fourth of what they normally give yeah. you. It was like a baby shot. Right, right, and, and that's not going to do I nothing when you're in extreme so pain. so bad that the, the EKG things won't keep on. Now you got to realize I'm by ambulance at this point. I can't right. be driving, you know what I mean? So I'm like, man, you got to get me out of here. You know, and he says, no, you can't leave. It's against medical advice. I said, look, I got money in my pocket. I'll take a cab. I'll do whatever. Right. I'm not going to sit here and withdraw with blood clots in me. Right. I'm in How many blood clots do you have? I had a bunch of them in my leg, and they had gone into my lung. Oh, that's not good. I put a screen in my leg before they checked the ones in my in my lungs. Yeah. Right. My kids would be millionaires if I had died. Yeah. That's I, what they, I, they said. It. But because I'm disabled, I don't work, I don't own anything, I don't know. I can't claim anything. Right. What did they do to me? They didn't really cause me to make lose work. That shouldn't happen. They didn't cost me anything. anything medically because I'm on disability. Right, right. No, but this is what the lawyers told me. There's really no See, money in the case. I had a lawyer that screwed me over, too. And I had a really good lawyer, I thought. I went to the Bar Association. Mm-hmm. I talked to, like, four of them. Yeah. And, every, yeah. and every Jewish guy yeah. that answered the phone told me I'd be a millionaire if, if I'd have died. Yep. Oh, gee. But since you didn't, you're just. But since I didn't die, I just us, was so. a piece of shit. You should yep. go off. You forgot. I can't take it with me. And let me tell you, my uncle. Can't take it with you. That's true. Back. Well, needless to say, my doctor hooked me up with this other doctor because the nurses discharged me. He didn't know it. He was pissed off. Mm-hmm. So he told me this other doctor to go to, and that's what I went to. Have you ever had to go to the emergency room? Um, I'm not sure how far it is from you, but the overwhelming one is really good if you go at night. They'll take care of you straight up. You know what I mean? And you're in and out. It is like the quickest. As long as nothing's wrong with you. Yeah, but see, but then they start pulling the out-of-county shit on you, too. I've been red flagged for using four fucking... Oh, excuse me. Hey, Cheryl, what's up? For they're for four, using four pharmacies at once. Well, the CVS is 24 okay, hours. Right. That's up the street yeah. for me. Giant Eagle is at the corner, and depending on if I if I go to Metro and I get something, I take it to Luther because right. it's so much faster to fill. Right. Yeah. Now I get all my narcotics and all that kind of stuff from Southwest, so I get them filled at Southwest. So I had to delete CVS <laughs> and uh, I've never heard and Luther. So now I just go to Southwest and Giant Eagle. They're happy with that. <laughs> but you no longer <coughs> have a choice a on what medical, on what stores you want to go to. You know, and no most of them, if you have any type of narcotics, suddenly they'll be out of it. They don't stop those. Yeah. My dad used to get the um, best acne. That's what I get. Are they green or something? No, I get the immediate release. Yeah, that's what he had. Would they get him up like 15 minutes? Right, yeah. He had the same problems with him. Well, if your arthritis is so bad when there's a storm blowing in, you can't move your knees or your hands, you know. 
arthritis. Oh, I understand that. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've got bad arthritis. Really, yeah. And this weather doesn't do it. You don't have an extra one of those on you, do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. How much money do you got? What do you need? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I had to be in and and this doctor ends up just now this is the kicker guys yeah <laughs> i go to the emergency room on friday night he says if you have blood clots we'll admit you right and i'm like thank god yeah because you had them in your leg you my said my right calf is three and a half inches bigger than my left calf I got to cook for myself. I got to take care of my cats. I got to, you know, clean the place up a little bit and shit. I just wanted to go to the hospital for a few days, put my leg up, and see if the, if the swelling and pain would go away, you know? Do you know I got a letter in the mail the next day that that doctor had already discharged me the day before I went and saw him? Is that a trip or what? That is a trip. This little Indian dude about this big. He made me look like Elvis Presley. He goes <laughs> and he pulls out all my narcotics since 1995. Do you know that they have a printout that they can hit? And all the medications you take yeah. come out. That's And I mean, when I, was, yeah. when I was working... You know what I mean? And trying to keep working. My doctor, my doctor was giving me two pills a month and giving me a hundred milligram of fentanyl patches. Oh wow! Well, how were those fentanyl patches? Did they help you out? You don't remember a damn thing. <laughs> yeah, so that was good. It worked good, right? Right. Right. So I went on to Mars and I did talk. Well, I'm trying to remember the gross nature on that. But I've known her for 34 years. I know her ex-husband and all this shit. You know, she's in the program. And uh, she goes, I went through the roughest detox that she ever saw. She said, they could not stabilize me for nothing. For five days. Yeah. What were you coming she off of there? Detoxing. Off of two bundles of heroin. Oh wow, that's crazy. Fentanyl. Oh really? That's that's what it was? Oh, man, that shit is too much, man. I mean that that shit. I don't remember nothing. What do they prescribe that for? I pain. Feel pain. But. But they prescribe it for like pain, oh, and then you can yeah, get hooked yeah, on it, yeah, and it really. messes and you I up. Had two touring lab rooms at the time. This one it was it had to be totally reconstructed. Right. Okay, they had to take my right kneecap out. They had to fuse my big toe. Oh. I had a, I had actually a growth on my sciatic nerve. Yeah, that's that's painful. I hadn't felt either one, and then I'm fighting with the one doctor. I'm going, no man, it's in my left leg now. He goes, no, it's all in your right leg. I says, yeah, it's in my right leg. But let me tell you something, it's in my left leg now too. So they sent me for some tests, and sure enough, it's in my left leg, too, you know what I mean? So right. Both my sciatics are out all the time, you know? Now, they put this stimulator in, and it, like, helps a little bit, but not enough to cut off 